Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with a, it's kind of a makeup collection video because I just cleaned out about 90% of my makeup, maybe more. And I'm giving this to a friend of mine at the Sheriff's Department, if you missed my last video, I'm giving this away to the Sheriff's Department because they help displaced women who have left bad situations and they help them get jobs and she's always looking for makeup because they give them makeovers and make them feel special okay so we already did one of these and i did primers foundations powders we did face products so if you missed that i'm going to link that down below and today we're going to do color and we're going to start with cream blush and I'm going to start with another one that I'm going to go ahead and toss. And I didn't toss it the first time I was cleaning out because I just have a hard time giving away these NARS. This liquid, this is the Torrid. I would use this if this was the orgasm. But the Torrid is a little orange. I still could make it work, but I won't because I have other things I like better. So giving away this Torrid, it's full. And this will be beautiful on someone with a little bit darker skin than me. Okay, that landed on my sheet. I <laughs> didn't want that to leak on my bed. I'm also giving this flower bomb away because this one is too orangey. Oh, this is melon. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. I thought this was um, the one that's a shade orangier, like more too bright but i remember i liked the melon so i'm gonna try this and um if i like it i'll use it and if not i'll give it this is hold on let's look let's look at the color i need to take a breath and slow down i have so many products to go through and i don't want this to be an hour that's really pretty but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and give it because that's brighter than the cream blushes I normally use because I layer powder on top of it. So I'm building and I don't want to, you know, be too bright. So I'm giving this one away as well. Okay, the next one I'm also going to give, and that is the cloud paint. And this one is the same story as the melon. It's a little bright. Let me get my reading glasses. Hang on. Okay, this one is also a little bit bright, but I love the Glossier, so I didn't give it, but I'm going to now. This is the Dawn, and it's a little bit orangey. My preference with the cloud paints is one, it's a color called Puff, and it is perfect, and I would repurchase that. I love these, but I'm going to give this. That'll be prettier on somebody with a little bit darker of a complexion, but those are really nice. The one in Puff is beautiful. It's like a, it's a pinker color. The next ones I'm keeping, the MAC Glow Plays. I have this in Heat Index, which is this at the top. It's got the other one blended in it because I blend these two, and I think this is too dirty to see. I think this one's called Just Peachy. This one's a little too peach, and this one's a little too pink, so I blend them. This is coming across much brighter in the camera than it actually is. This is this is not bright. This is a, a paler peach, and this is a, you know, too pink. Together, these are perfect, and I love the formula. I would say here and now, unless I find something else, this is, I will replace that. And then the other cream blush, I'm not keeping a lot of cream blush, it's just the Glow Play and this. And this is the NARS Orgasm. And I told y'all that I had it in the pump. And this is a cream. And y'all, I love this. I use BK Beauty 109 for the brush. It's perfect for these Glow Plays and for this. I got this for Christmas. I've only used it once or twice, but I love the peachy pink of it. It's subtle, but noticeable. It's beautiful. It just gives me the perfect glow. So these are the only cream blushes I'm keeping. That's nice. So then if I want to try something new, I can. We'll give those others to those ladies, and we're going to move on to 
regular blushes and we're gonna give a bunch of these away y'all I saved too many I gave away a ton that's how many blushes I had we'll start with another one I'm gonna give and it's this Dior and it's beautiful I used it yesterday to be sure I wanted to give it this is a very bright but it's supposed to flatter whatever skin tone you are kind of warm up to your skin I think and be real flattering I have others I like better this is almost brand new that'll be pretty on some of those ladies so and I'll make them feel special it's a Dior one I'm keeping is the NARS orgasm in the powder and I keep this in this desk and I use it when I'm touching up for videos and I love that I also have the Milani Luminoso somewhere. It's probably in my purse. I think that's the one I carry. Um, I, I will always keep a Luminoso or a NARS Orgasm, and I kind of think I like the Luminoso better. It's a dupe for this. And I think the Luminoso is the one I really like, but I'll keep this and use it. Oh, I have more of these MAC Glow Plays. I'm excited about that. Keeping these, I'll keep all my Glow Plays. Okay, I have a NYX. Hang on, let me get my glasses. Sorry about the glare, but I have to have my light. Um, NYX Hamptons, I love this. Okay, I love that. This is the perfect peachy coral. That's it on my finger. I love this. It kind of reminds me, you can't see it great. It's right here kind of reminds me of a matte luminoso i think you can see that better on my finger than anything that's it and i think this is beautiful i'm keeping that i have three l'oreal blushes in at the drugstore these are my favorites at the drugstore and i have them in apricot kiss that and i used to love that it's that one on my ring finger. That's a little dusty for me anymore. I really like more of a more vibrant peachy pink, so I'm gonna give that. I have a rosy outlook. I'm keeping this. This just makes, that's it in the pan, and this just makes a sun-kissed rosy snow white. That's beautiful. I love it every time. At one point, that was my, if I could have one. I'm keeping that. And a tender rose, this is a little bit softer of a pink. It's kind of a dusty pink. And it's also really, it's that one, really soft. Dustier than I like now, though. So I'm also going to give that one. I'm going to be merciless, y'all, because I don't want to keep just a whole a whole lot. I want to keep five if I can. Love is the drug. Keeping. I remember I love this. Okay. That. See, I'm liking more of a vibrant now, and it's beautiful. Again, like that snow white pink. It's beautiful. So I'm keeping this one. I already know I'm keeping both of these. I have two joies and I love them. This is my third darling and it's just beautiful over whatever cream blush I use and then this is nice to go underneath a bronzer. It makes you have more of a bronzy pink look and I love this over a vibrant cream blush. I got this on Poshmark. Look on Poshmark because I found several of those on Poshmark. I'm keeping that. And then the rose gold. Oh, beautiful. On my pinky. And that one's super nice. And then the darker one on that finger. Yeah, those are beautiful. I will definitely get use out of those. Okay, then I have another. This is what I'm using today ecstasy this is just a beautiful peachy pink that's beautiful over whatever cream blush i have on or as a touch-up during the day 
This is one I may always keep. It's a repurchase, and I love that. The Patrick Ta is also a repurchase. I think this is called She's the One. It's the Coral. The Cream Blush is a little bit vibrant for me, but I do love it. And this is the second one I've gotten and used. So I mixed this with something pinker, like the Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy, and I love this. I replaced that. I love it. I think I'm also giving up this Purse Mini Blush and Glow by Natasha Denona. Not because it's not beautiful. It is. It's a great touch-up, and I love this. But it's duplicated in my collection, and um, I don't pick it up. When I'm out and about, I pick up the Milani Luminoso. That's my favorite touch-up during the day. This is pretty, though, if you need a purse touch-up, but I'm going to give that. I have a Clinique Melon Pop, and I'm going to keep this for my purse when the Luminoso runs out because it is a perfect, it's that one on that finger. It's a perfect touch-up. It's not too vibrant, but a really nice, you know, really nice for a touch-up. So I'm going to keep that. Y'all, I'm going to have to get tougher. Je ne sais quoi from it. This is a repurchase. Hold on. Okay, the je ne sais quoi. It's brighter. It's that one. Y'all, I have to keep that. I have to keep that. That is just a perfect pink, and I will use that. I forgot I had it. I'll pick that up, and I will use it. Okay, then I have three hourglasses, and I'm going to keep one because hourglass, you know, I will use it. That, that one. I love the icy pink of that on my pointer finger. I'm keeping that. That's in Luminous Flesh. And that will be nice to mix with something a little more coral. Oh, this one's pretty too. This one is the peach version of that. And it's incandescent Electra on that finger. That's kind of like the NARS orgasm. And since I have the NARS orgasm, let's give that one. We'll give this one to the ladies and we'll keep the pink one. And then I have a mini of diffused heat. And that looks like a melon version of, ooh, isn't that pretty? I can see that complementing my skin tone. So I'm gonna keep the diffused heat and the luminous flush, and I'm gonna give the incandescent Electra. Then I have the peach. This is a nice Laura Mercier. Her blushes are nice, y'all, if you've never tried. And this is a repurchase. Hold on, I'm wiping my fingers off. And it's on that finger. Ooh. Another one that's kind of like the, looks like it's got a little shimmer to it. Um, Like the Luminosos, I'll use those all day, every day. And that will not go to waste. Okay, so that's what we're keeping. Y'all, this is a fourth of what I had. We're giving away a few more, and I gave away a lot last time, so we're thinning the herd. All right, I'm gonna move on to some highlighters. The first one I have is, that's a bronzer, this Too Faced. Y'all, this has been used maybe once. I can't believe I don't pick up that more, pick that up more. But you know what? I don't because I have some other pet favorites and that's why I don't pick that up. I'm going to give that. That's hard. That is painful, but I have some other beautiful ones that I just use all the time. And this next one I'm keeping and it is beautiful. If you're looking for... Uh, you know, kind of just lit from within, healthy skin. 
this Tom Ford Mood Light. This is a duo. Now it's got one down here a little bit darker. This one's the one I use. And sometimes I blend them. It is a beautiful, it's that one. You can see, you can kind of see through it. And that's what I like in my highlighter. It's beautiful. This will get used and I'm keeping it. I'm also keeping these next two, the, Nata the Natasha Denona Super Glows. Any Natasha Denona um, highlighter keeping because they're the same, beautiful. They don't look powdery on your skin. This one is the Oliver Glow Face. Oh, this is the Body Shimmer, and I use it on my face. Oh, hold on. I think I put that on the same finger as that. It's this one. A little more, a little poppier than the Tom Ford, but it just blends in with the skin beautifully. It's not going to show up on my hand, but love that one. And then this one is the Super Glow Ultra Brilliant. And it's that. I'll put it on my pinky. Look at that. That reminds me of the Tom Ford. It's just lit from within. It's a little golder. Okay, then I have Port de France. That looks like something I would love. I'm going to keep it, not because I love it so much, but because I don't know if I love it so much. I haven't tried it that much yet. It looks beautiful and it looks subtle, but radiant. So I'm gonna keep that. Then I have a MAC Double Gleam. Okay, y'all, I know people love this, and I haven't given this one a lot of a shot. Let's do it on our thumb. I'm going to try it. Well, hold on. Let's try a little bit on right here, and we'll decide over what I already have on. Oh, it looks pretty. I'm going to give this one a shot before I give it. I'll give that one a shot. And then I have Flash Jump. And honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I like this or not. This is on the pinky. That one looks a little dense. Like it's going to... It looks pretty, but I already have so many I love, and highlighter lasts forever, so I'm saying I'm going to give this. It's beautiful, but again, it's a high highlighter's last five years, and we're already saving a lot, so I'm going to give that. Definitely keeping my Film Star by Charlotte Tilbury. This is my second one of these. And this is my daily. It's my go-to. This is what I had on when I started the video. I don't have on the bronzer. I have on the highlighter. Um, but the bronzer's a perfect everyday bronzer. It's just a little bit... It's got a little bit of a pink undertone, but not much. It just leans a hair on the pinkish side so it doesn't die on my face. It, it, you know, it adds a little bit of color and bronziness. This is my, if I could only have one, I believe. Oh, I also have a Laura Geller, and I love this. But I've had this for about four years. If you've been with me a long time, you may remember when I talked about this a little bit. And it's got a double, one is shiny, I think, and one is matte. It's on, it's those two that are just popping. And they're beautiful. I tell you why I like the idea of this because you could use the matte on your brow bone and you could use the highlighter on your cheeks and nose. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try it once. I haven't used it in so long. And then if I don't like it, I'll give it. Okay, so this is what we're giving away more today. And I had already given away a bunch. 
And then last time, this. So we're getting a good little donation together. So I'll come back in a week or so, and we will do bronzers and eyeshadows that we want to give and what we want to keep. So anyway, y'all let me know anything that you are loving that you think I need to pick up and try. And that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day.